Hi, I'm Dana, and I've let my room get super fucking messy again. And I'm not meant to swear in an intro. Hi, I'm Dana, and I've let my room get really messy, and I need some motivation to clean it. And I normally watch videos of people cleaning the rooms. It's It gives me some motivation, it makes me feel better about myself because other people are also messy and it's not just me that's living like this. And yeah, it, it generally helps me out. Obviously, I'm someone who gets a little obsessive about having a clean, tidy room. It's something that I do. But then I have like four nights out in a row and struggle with outfits and I'm like, you fucking start tidying while I tell you about this. I get real panicky about what I'm wearing and shit. And then everything just ends up here because I've tried on like six million outfits. And also things like pants where it's like, I'm not putting these in the wash because I wore them on one night out. They're not dirty yet, but I don't normally want to fold them up and put them away. But I've gotten to a point of messiness where I'm like, they need to be, they need to go away. It's making me anxious having it all just laying around like this. I don't know about anybody else, but I find it just really fucking hard to have a balance between like life and home i suppose like i didn't even wear half of these shirts but you know it's very like if i'm socializing if i'm going out if i'm doing stuff it knackers me it absolutely tires me out and it's like i have such a good time while i'm doing it that i want to keep doing it so i keep doing it but that means that nothing around the house gets done and not only does nothing get done but because like i'm waking up in the like I can't, I won't lie to you, I still get a lot of anxiety about waking up too late and like, because my first ex that we've talked about being abusive before made me feel like a lazy sack of shit for not having a job. So if I didn't wake up early enough, he'd be like, see what I mean, you just sleep all day. So I feel super anxious if I wake up after noon, like midday, like 12 o'clock noon. So I wake, like, I'll, I'll be, like, some days I go to bed at like 6am and I still have to wake up for like half 11 to not feel like awful about myself. And my housemate helps me out too, wakes me up sometimes so that I don't feel bad about myself. But that'd be, but you know, like, it means I'm already tired. And then I'm waking up and being the autistic little bitch that I am, I'm like, oh God, I'm going out in six hours. And then I spend like the hour and a half that I need with my copper to wake up. And then I have my shower and then suddenly it's like, oh, I'm going out in like three hours and I'm anxious. So I need to like watch an episode of my comfort show and do my makeup and get dressed. And then it's time to go out. So I'm going out. And like in the process of having done like my hair and my makeup and having a shower and everything, I've made a fucking mess. So not only is nothing getting tidy, but I'm actively making it worse each and every fucking day of existence. And I'll tell you, I don't want to, I don't want to blame it on anyone else because this is my fault. Oh shit, this plant's fucked as well. But the cats really don't help because like this area was pretty all right until Ali decided to walk across it and just knock everything down and fuck me over. Fuck my block up and everything. Get the melodical on there to straighten things out, like shit. But you know, it's just fucking tough. And especially when it's like, obviously I don't have a job. I do not understand how people go to work every day and then still manage to like maintain a, not only doing all the shit like this that I'm supposed to do, but doing that and maintaining a social life and doing this and doing a job like, and that's where it kind of feels like some sort of like catch 22 because it's like, I need a job so that I like, you know, have something to do in the day so that I can earn money and be like a productive member of society. But if I have a job, I'm not gonna have any sort of social life. My house is gonna fall to shit. So I'm gonna just wanna fucking die. Like it's not gonna be any better than it is now for like my mental health and like, you know, me not dying. And it sounds really dramatic, I know, but that's sort of just the way it be. But it just makes me feel bad when it gets messy like this. And I also use it as a massive excuse because it's like, I can't film a video while my room's messy. So I'm gonna have to, put off filming a video by putting off filming like tidying my room and it becomes a whole thing where I'm putting off so many things because of one thing and I should just do the thing but it's so hard to do the thing and especially when it's like I need it to look right as well you know it's not like it I feel like other people could just leave this bit of bullshit because the fucking record clips aren't 
going into the box so they're not closing so it's pushing all the other records out the way i feel like other people could just fucking leave that and not spend extra time fucking about with it oh my god this got the fucking end of me you see what i mean it's all just so frustrating guys so, just having a fucking go down okay that's that done christ fuck it's really I, I know it's not that bad this isn't even that messy like i've had times when like you could not see the floor of my room this isn't even that messy it's not going to take me that long to sort and yeah i get so like frustrated and anxious and just like overwhelmed by it all right new shot new angle <sighs> see it Especially when it feels like everything's out to fucking get me sometimes. Like not, not in a like, oh you're over there. Not in like a paranoia way. Like I'm not like actually thinking anything is out to get me. But it's like, did did now need to be the moment that my posters start fucking falling down? Really? So we're gonna hang these bits off, and then that's the like pile of creamish clothes sorted, and we can deal with. Everything else that's happening to me, <laughs> it's really not that bad. I don't know why I'm so stressed. But yeah, like I said, I've been going out quite a lot lately. Maybe we should talk about that because it's actually quite fun and interesting for me. I'm someone who normally goes out like once a year because it makes me very anxious and it overwhelms me and ties me out like we've spoken about. <laughs> but um, on Wednesday, my housemate had a gig with his band. And like, I'm not missing out on a gig anyway, especially when it's someone I knows playing. Like, that's fucking cool and it's fun as shit. So I went to that and then I was like, oh shit, they're actually really good. Like I already knew they were good because I've heard recordings of them, like that my housemates played around the house and they're on Spotify. I'll link them down below. Mondo Trosho. Like I already knew they were good, but they're really fucking good. So I had a lovely little night out seeing them and some other local bands. The, uh, the other local band that I liked was Frog Dylan. They were cool. They had a guy that like just played tambourine and wore shades and then jumped like over the barrier and fucked off before they were actually done. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. And then on the Thursday, I went over to a friend's house because I had a whole bit of drama with a friend that I didn't really want. And then I was like, just too overwhelmed to deal with it. And then we made up and it turns out that my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend now, told lies and tried to fuck me over. And I don't understand why, it's a whole thing. So I finally have my fucking best friend back and that's been lovely. So I went to their place on the Thursday and they were like, oh, we're all going for drinks tomorrow, you should come. So then I went out on Saturday, Friday. I went out on Friday for drinks and to see, um, you guys remember Jodie, my cat? We, <laughs> I had to be home because she wasn't fucking happy. The other cats just kept going for her and she was constantly hissing and it was, it was fucking horrible. She was having a horrible time. So I rehomed her to this guy, Tom. And his band, I don't think it's his band. I think he was filling in for some, He was playing at a like, really local gig, like walking distance, where we went. So we went and saw him and then went out for some drinks afterwards. And I saw quite a lot of people that I haven't seen in quite a while because they're like friends of the friend that I had. I mean, I didn't actually have an issue with that person. I had an issue with lies that I'd been told and they had an issue with lies they'd been told. It was a whole thing. But I didn't actually have an issue with them. But I hadn't seen anyone. So it was really fucking nice to see everyone and get an update on how my cat's doing, even though she's not my cat. He's renamed her to Mia as well. And when he first like sort of called her Mia, I was proper like, are you fucking kidding me? You've renamed my fucking cat after like eight years of the same name. And then he showed me pictures of it and she looks like a different fucking cat. Like she's so much happier and more relaxed. And I was like, damn, you know what? Like that's Mia. Fuck. <laughs> like it really suits her. This is a shirt that I borrowed off my housemate when we had a uh, dress like someone else at the party. Party. <laughs> and it's such a nice shirt that I'm reluctant to give it back. But I'm also reluctant to wear it because he's going to be like, that's my shirt. So I've just kept it around. I keep trying it on with outfits and I'm like, mm, not this one. This isn't the outfit that's worth a housemate argument. <laughs> but one day, there's going to be an outfit that it really goes with and I'm going to be ready for that argument. I say argument, my housemate's too nice. It wouldn't be an actual argument. It'd just be a, oh, it's my shirt. And then I'd have to wash it and give it in back and not have the shirt anymore. So it needs to be the right outfit. Oh my God. 
Joshua Pong every day. Oh, that's all of it. Nice. Okay. Moving on. Right, we are indeed back down here. Because this is what I mean about fucking cats. I had this so nicely fucking piled and organised. And then Ali was like, well, you know what? That looks like a real nice pile of things to sit on over there. So it's fucked. But like, that's the other thing with cats, isn't it? They're fucking adorable. So it's not that you can really tell them off or like do anything about it. You've just, or at least I just let them fucking do it. <sighs> this is a sore point for me. Nothing else has upset me since my breakup. I keep looking in the wrong place, I'm sorry. But like nothing else has upset me since the breakup. But I haven't been able to wear this again because it's a fucking sleep shirt that my ex got me the first time I stayed over at hers. And it was like a whole thing. And I thought I was just gonna wear it the other night and then when I put it on, I felt really weird about wearing it. So I think I'm just gonna shove this to the back and ignore it. But like, it was weird to me because I've got clothes that like straight up were hers, you know? And I don't mind wearing that. I don't even think about, oh well, I'm wearing them. But with that, I was just like, I, d I don't know if I can wear this. Right. I need to start wearing my old man pajamas more, but it's not warm enough yet, but I love them. Like even like these pajama pants, I've got two pairs because I bought them for us to like wear matching pajamas, and she was fucking mean about it, guys. I love the idea of having matching shit with with like whoever I'm with, like be it my best friend, be it my partner. Like I just like having matching shit with the people around me. I think it's fun, and she like really didn't want to, and I was like, okay, I respect that, but we can do pajamas because no one's gonna see it, no one will know that we're matching. And she was like, yeah, yeah, and then just never wore them, like gave them back to me, and it was just. Gosh, disappointing relationships, guys. These people, oh, they can't go. I, I think I am gonna need them. I'm gonna do a whole like bleach t-shirt project at some point soon. I'm gonna need shit to go in between the layers. I've been saving stuff, but it looks like I just have a pile of rubbish in my room, which I do, but it's in like a womble way and not like a hoarder. I don't have a fucking defence. I'm gonna do something creative. You're all gonna see. I'm gonna be like, see, I told you so. So keep an eye out for that, I guess. One of my posters fell down at back here, so I can finally get that now, I guess. Oh, I'm a little screen printy thing, okay. All sorts of treasures back here, I guess. Oh. All right, another new angle. We're tidying and what? Another section. Also, if this suddenly like stops, it's because my housemate's gotten in. He's walking in from band practice right now. I don't like filming around people. I forgot to hang this off. I was gonna wear it the other day and then I didn't. I really wanna be a big coat bitch, but I'm like, you show up at the venue, you don't know if it's gonna be too hot or too cold when you're wearing like a fuck off big coat. You can't see me, I'm sorry. You know, you show up at the venue wearing a fucking coat like this, like a full like floor like thing and it's boiling. You've gotta just hold it and shit, nah. It's not the vibe. Right, you're tidying over here. See, this is what I mean. Like, I got my sewing box out and I was like using the safety pin and shit because I needed to do that. And then it just, shit just doesn't get put away and then you've got a mess that you didn't intend. It's so annoying. But it's your own fault. It's, it's entirely my own fault. Damn. I also, at some point, there's gonna be a video. Oh my god, why aren't you closed? At some point, there's gonna be a video of me organising this here cupboard. Because this cupboard is fucked. It's so chock full of all the shit that I don't know where else to put. And I really need to find somewhere else to put. Okay, this could go on the back of my door. Along with that, actually, my towel. Oh, there's all sorts of bits down here. The cat's dragging out of the cupboard. I've left it open at some point. Oh. Wait, where did I put my little screen printy thing? <sighs> Shit. Oh, okay, it's here. That's why Matt's falling over. Cool. Right, earphones that don't work. Well, that one's just fallen somewhere. Earphones that don't work. I'm putting them in my pocket. You know what? I'm going to actually put them in the bin. I'm going to actually get rid of something that doesn't work instead of just hoarding it. 
move Michelle back a little. Days on there. Oh, I want the screen footage thing on there. Sorry, Michelle. I don't know why I talk to these pictures instead of very actual people. They're not. It's not actually. Well, I mean, it is actually Michelle Gomez, but like, she's not here. She doesn't hear me. Can I get it like that? Oh, shit. Yes. Yes. I'm happy. That's just what I wanted. I love it. Okay. Adding yet more to this washing pile. I'm going to source it. We're going to do that in a minute. That's gonna be the next thing after like the room's otherwise tidy, you know. I've gotta shove some of this shit back into my cupboard. Oh my god, this sock falls down again. It, it was about to, it was gone, guys. Fuck. We can put some textile paint, make it look creative. Ugh. Cats have just pulled all sorts of shit out of this cupboard. Christ, I left it open one time. I really wanna put this rug down, but my bed isn't, I, I haven't got a bed yet. I want to go like there, like under where the bed is. I don't know how I feel about just having a rug under my mattress, you know? Like I feel like I'll be able to like feel the line a bit or something. So she's just there for now, I guess. I've got these four black t-shirts because I made a little tree shirt. <laughs> tree shirt. That's gotta be something at some point. I made a little band t-shirt of Mondo Trash for my housemate's band. And it was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. And they seemed quite impressed by it. it was had quite a nice reaction when I met the band so I'm gonna make some more and I want to try and do like some like bleach designs or we're gonna figure something is what I'm saying so stick around for that video I guess so like I'm gonna put these here and it's gonna look messy but it's for a reason you know I'm not just being messy it's not my fault <laughs> I'm also gonna put that back so it's straight I need it to be closed like the other one Fucking cat filters that I keep meaning to take to my friend's house. Okay, but yeah, otherwise, other than that now, all I need to do is make my bed. And we've tidied my fucking room. That's a lie, I need to sort that chair too. You're gonna see it all, but we're nearly done. I went and put things out of my pocket into the bin and we're giving the desk an actual bit of a wipe because it is a bit glossy actually. This is in my window. I had it closed because I was filming but we're about to be done so I want it open now. I'm gonna look so good when my housemate gets in and I've done the dishes and cleaned my room. <laughs> I'm saying it like he's my parent. I'm gonna be like, come look at my room. He just wanders in. We're just he doesn't just wonder in. We're friends. It's I don't know why I make everything fucking odd. Christ. I should hoover, but I can't be asked. And I also have no idea where the frame for this is. Because my laptop's over there and I normally have my phone plugged in so I can see what I'm doing on the screen. Which is why when I'm far away I look at the wrong place. But I don't have that going on right now. I don't even know if this is actually still filming. But I hope it is because we finished tidying my room. I'm gonna go and do laundry and feel like I've been productive. And I'm I'm really considering hoovering. I really should hoover. Let's see what my housemate gets back. If he's not back by the time I've done my laundry, then I'm probably gonna hoover. But if he is, then I probably won't. <laughs> so you can follow me here, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, that'd be lovely. And you can also become a YouTube member, and you can also join follow me. Pay, you can pay me on Patreon, you can donate to my Ko-fi, and if you're like me and you haven't got money, you can subscribe to me here, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on TikTok, where I post a lot of similar sort of vein of content that I do here, but like short form, and I try to be funny over there, I'm not sure how it works out for me, it might just be a bit cringe, but cringe is dead. <laughs> so whoever you are and wherever you are, I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, day, afternoon, week, month, year, and I will see you again. In a couple of days.